What's up, YouTube? Um, welcome. I gotta say, I am beyond excited to do. Um, I'm beyond grateful to do this video. Um, I was listening to this lo-fi as I was getting some thoughts together, and uh, been thinking about what I was gonna do in my next video for the last time. And I'm researching and learning new things, and I just feel, I felt incredibly grateful about the time that we're in. And as I was reflecting on some things that I'm learning about getting this message out there, and it's a, re a message that is going to resonate with a lot of people, it's just, it's very simple, right? It's just about the truth, and the truth being essentially eternal, and that's all that we're looking for. And there's different ways that we're going to get out there. One thing that I learned in, from one of my posts is simply just to kind of uh, start to get rid of the illusion of time in my post. But like, don't say like, oh yeah, happy Sunday or happy Friday or whatever, because people are going to find this video at different points throughout the journey. But the truth of the matter is, the message is supposed to be there and I'm going to be, we're going to be growing and I want to just spew gratitude that you're listening, gratitude that we're in the time period that we're in, that this message got to you, but just that I'm able to give you my perspective on things. And I say that from the new round of creators that's getting ready to truly shift the planet. We are already shifting the planet. I'm, I'm beyond grief. Um, that's not actually the message, but that's how I wanted to open up because for such a long time, I was just truly disappointed in the images and the rhetoric and then the words of culture around like what we were getting from the television and books. I just felt like it was just, it was destroying us as a civilization. It was destroying me as, you know, a melanated man. It was destroying the way people looked at me and, and the way that I was had to look back at them. But it's not just black people, it's American people like we weren't given the truth about anything and then as I was doing research and going down different rabbit holes and like this is a you know you go down the conspiracy theory type of whether it be true and people looking at you as if you're are you a conspiracy all of that doesn't matter I simply want to give my perspective on things and I I'm a person, and I think I've shared this before, but the reason why I don't do this is I don't have the ability, I don't have, it's not in my brain to think like everybody else. I have to give my perspective. So as I'm watching things like, original thoughts are going through my head, I don't know, it's hard to explain, but that's the purpose of this channel. And today's background is just to kind of show product life cycle cycle but it's way bigger than that it's about time on the x-axis and it says sales on the y sales is really profit it's really value no it's not really value eh, no it's really value the way that i want to look at it and setting it up for what we're going to talk about today because we have been bombarded with celebrities for the last from the since I've been born. I say bombarded as in like, these celebrities have been heralded as like some great person, but they're just another person. And we know that because they haven't been able to actually accomplish anything and eventually they're not, they even lose their voice in telling the truth. I was thinking about like, there was two things that prompted me to like, man, this is, this is dying culture. Usher on Club Shay Shay, which I did not watch, so it could have been a good interview. I just have no desire to listen to anything that Usher says, speaking-wise. haven't really had a desire to listen to his music. There's something there where it's like if this... 
I'm just over the celebrity hype. And anybody who knows me would be like, well, you know, what about your affinity for like gay and Trump and stuff? And that's the whole, it's a completely different appreciation for those people because they went against the grain and they actually tried to share their truth. Now, both of them, I have no desire to continue to like stick up for right now. This is my season of just sharing my truth. I believe Trump should be like um, held accountable for everything that he's talking about and looking to do. And same thing with Ye, but at least they attempted to tell the truth. And the other side is like the whole thing with uh, Taylor Swift and what's going on with football. And that comes from a different um, perspective. Like I'm not even like, upset with Taylor Swift, right? I can't be mad at her. But at the same time, I just don't understand why we couldn't football. Like, and granted, the whole the whole thing that, again, I forgot how I was like introducing the background but then I didn't share really why it's there. The value of a lot through this collapse is coming back down. And I'm, I'm trying to put in perspective as I look at it, like what, how we're getting this out here because celebrities' voice, following celebrities' lives, magazines, whether it be in magazines or whatever, that type of information and media is dying. And I say that working in the media industry like it's collapsing and i don't people in in and around whether in private equity or venture capital actually in the media world i don't think people understand how much like it's over right at the same time there's a new wave of information getting out and it's just all about being authentic and being yourself I was at the bank yesterday and there was a female that was talking about how much she loved Taylor Swift. She framed it as, it was actually, uh, let's say Wednesday, it was Monday, the day after the game. And she was saying how Taylor has some bracelet that is a TNT bracelet, which is like kind of for dynamite, but it's Taylor and Travis. And I was just like, for what reason did the NFL want to bring in these fans or supporters of some, of a product that we wanted, right? Because she was talking about the Chiefs game and, and the NFL. And she wasn't, she's not a football person. But the NFL had basically like 99 of the top 100 top viewer, viewed programs of the year last year. So and has been dominating ratings for the last several years. And there's something more to it. And I don't, I'm not gonna claim to know why they're saying, well, let's go and get Taylor Swift's fan base. Um, and it's, I mean, I have my opinion on it, that's not what it's for. I just wanna say like, I don't, I don't care about Taylor Swift, I don't care about Usher, I don't care about these people. I only care about the truth. Like I have a, it's, it's truly a burning desire to get out the truth no matter who we are in the time period that we're in as human beings and what God is doing in this era. Um, and this year is going to be special. And so like I'm setting up and I'm trying different things and I was actually, Kind of rambling um but make sure you subscribe to the channel because i'm going to be pulling out a few different types of content with a focus on building something long term um and it's funny because like my vivek stuff is catching right and like my politics i have a i have an opinion on politics but I do not believe we're supposed to be following politics every day. 
that's how it turns into entertainment. I believe we're supposed to understand a person's agenda or whatever and either vote them in or not. But our daily, everyday life is supposed to be with family, friends, ourselves, nature, you know, business partners. We're supposed to be like, we're not supposed to be following headlines. And so I encourage you to not follow headlines. You don't need, like, I don't need to watch what Vivek is doing on every interview. Um, I just don't. And I don't, I mean, I talked about this before. I don't think influencers should be following them in every headlines because the news media is dying. So they're giving them ratings that they just, they don't deserve at this point. Um, and I wonder if they are leading it, basically leading their flock astray by not letting them know, Hey, look, return to the mirror, return to your family, return to, you know, like this year, I'm going to have some content around growing food. Last year was the first year that I grew food. And it was such a special year. And there are things that I'm going to continue to grow on um, and share things that's like very cultural, more lifestyle that American people are getting back to. Mainstream media, the media world, old media is done. There's a whole new thing taking place. Um, and again, it's, it's rooted around truth and authenticity. And honestly, that's, I'm going to, I'm going to end it there because like I didn't, I'm not bashing Shay, the club Shay Shay. I'm not bashing Usher. I'm not looking forward to Usher at the Super Bowl. I don't, I mean, let's, I want the 49ers to win. So like I, I, I appreciate there being some, like, even if I don't, you know, wage anything, I'm rooting heavy for Bang Bang right, uh, Niner game. Like, so I'm just, I'm excited. I'm grateful. And I hope you are too. And last thing I want to share on this, don't like these videos if you're not liking them. Like, I want to be able to read, and then as I grow, I want to be able to read the numbers to understand what works and what doesn't work. And to be honest, that may or may not affect how I move. I do want people to subscribe. Don't just hit like. People are like, oh, like and subscribe. Don't like the video unless you like the video. Um, or subscribe, whether you want to or not. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I'm going to end it on that. Be blessed. Know that we are a part of the greatest time period to ever exist. And it's only going to get better as we speak things into existence. Actually, it's a good story to share. So two nights ago, my niece came to sleep with me because she um, had a nightmare about Bloody Mary. And I don't even know who that character is, but when I Googled it, she said, yeah, that person. And she, it was an honest thing. She basically said, Bloody Mary, at me and then I became Bloody Mary she had to run and blah 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 she had it certainly startled and then last night as we went to bed I was just like you have the power to program your mind to manifest good thoughts good dreams etc in our, our reality so as I'm telling this to her this is a part of the puzzle piece that I don't think everybody realizes, or I don't know if they utilize, or I don't know if everybody didn't tap into that spiritual side of things. True. And so we talked about her having a play date with her friends. And I would say, long story short, the next night, she, or the next morning, last night, um, or last, last night dream, she had a she had a dream that she was playing with her friends and that brought her there and it was just like 
Like you program your mind to have that dream. Lucid dreaming. I've done it before. I do it often. I love it. Like, which is why I know that once I start tapping into the branding piece behind the channel, and I, again, it's, I promise you, it's not me. It's not just me. Like, my nine to five is cool. I love my nine to five. Like, I love everything about what's going on. And I know that other people, whether or not they realize it, they are choosing every piece of their life. And you got to give them. That's, that's the piece that I'm going to dive a little bit deeper. You've got to give them the liberty to, if they choose failure, cool. If you like it, I love it. If you choose liberal, if you like it, I love it. If you choose to settle, if you like it, I love it. Like, there's so much power in our words and in our hands and in this era. And again, I speak for all that I am. A millennial, American, a man. We're going to fix every single problem. And we're literally going to manifest heaven on earth. 